Well, good morning, Mr. Jones, and here's your mail now. And top of the morning to you, Postman Johansson. I hope your appointed rounds are going well today. Well, can't complain, can't complain. I wouldn't do any good if we did now, would it? <laughs> but you know, now that you're asking, I have to say my dogs are really yapping today. Oh? Well, you know, it's all the way walking, don't you know. Deliver a letter to your house, then it's all off with me back to the post office to get the mail for number six Maple Lane. But number six Maple Lane is next door, right over there. Why don't you bring all the mail for the street at once and just go from house to house? Oh, now there you go, talking with all your complicated house-to-house -house talk. <laughs> no, sir, and nothing in the mail carrier handbook about that. No instructions on going to the next house from the one before. Nope, no siree. Uh, but that's insane. Why would you need instructions to know all the houses on Maple Lane are connected? Oh, now there, Mr. Jones, with all due respect, sir, I won't have you talking down the efficiencies of the Postal Service. I must be off now. Many trips to make today. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor feet of night. Okay. Search engines are a lot like Postman Johansson. They only know enough to follow the instructions we give them. In this episode of Here's Why, we'll introduce you to a special instruction that helps search engines navigate the streets where your products or content live. So, Eric, say I'm selling shoes online. Okay, I'm selling shoes online. No, how did I know you were going to do that? Uh, anyway, I've got this online shoe store, okay, and one of my categories is men's shoes. Now, it so happens that I have like oh, 100 different pairs of men's shoes. So I decide to make it easier for the browsing user, and I'll divide those into 10 pages of 10 shoes each. Follow? Yeah, your math checks out. Good. Okay, yeah, thanks. Anyway, here's the thing. I don't want search engines to think I have 10 duplicate pages of men's shoes, and I don't want to risk splitting my ranking signals for men's shoes 10 different ways. So what should I do? Well, you're in luck, because Google and other search engines agree on a pretty easy solution. Oh? Yes, it's known as the rel equals prev or rel equals next tag. Okay, so how does it work? It's really quite simple. First, you create a series of navigation links between the pages. You might label them something like next page and previous page. In fact, for the user's sake, you've probably already done something like that. Oh yeah, I have. Always thinking of the user, that's me. Don't get too proud yet. You aren't quite done. Now you need to add to each of the next page links the tag rel equals next, and to each of the links to a previous page, the tag rel equals prev. Okay, but what does that do for me? I mean, the links work fine for my visitors now, so why add the extra tags? Well, it's to solve the problem you originally asked about. You're concerned about duplicate content for the same keyword, in this case, men's shoes. In the video clip from our virtual keynote with Google's Gary Eish, he explained that rel equals prev or next tells Google to treat the group of pages as a sequence. The advantage there is that the search ranking signals coming to any one page in the group are attributed to the whole group, so there's no worry of watering down the signals. Oh, that's great! But wait, there's more. Even though the pages are treated as a group for ranking purposes, each page is still individually indexed by Google, so if a particular search query seems most relevant to the shoes on page three of the sequence, Google can still send the searcher directly to that page. Cool. If you want the step-by-step -step instructions for implementing rel equals prev next correctly, check out my video from our Digital Marketing Classroom series at the link on your screen now. And join us every Monday for a new episode of Here's Why, where Eric and I explain the why behind the what of digital marketing. Well, good morning to you, Mr. Jones, and uh, there's your mail now. Well, thanks, Postman Johansson, but something troubling you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing there, Mr. Jones. You see the post office there now. They're sending me off today with all the mail for Maple Lane, and I don't know where to go next. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's as clear as the old bell for sure. Uh, much obliged to you, Mr. Jones, much obliged. Between you and me, I think Postman Johansson is a few digits short of a zip code. <laughs> <laughs>